Welcome back. I'm discussing the value of time, the importance of time, and how time is important from the uh, viewpoint of the religion uh, and life. The uh, verses of the Holy Quran from the Surah or chapter 103 uh, start, of course, with the first verse by the time God Almighty told us. He swore by the time the importance of the time uh, being in the beginning of that chapter shows the importance also of working and keeping oneself busy with the following uh, faith and good work and good advice for good work and good advice for patients that would also include also patience consolation being there for others to make them patient and to keep them going uh, with this life as a support for one another as God Almighty described the believers being supporters of one another and also supporters of all human beings when it comes to good things or, and, and, and general interest for everyone. Now this also uh, leads us to focus uh, our discussion on the importance of uh, making time filled with good work at the same time making our minds focused on achieving noble goals, not only for ourselves, but for humanity uh, at large. That is why God Almighty tells us in the Quran, there is no good, as we see in chapter 4, verse 114, there is no good in most of their talks, save in him who orders charity, or does something good in the eyes of all mankind, all people or conciliation between people. And he who does this, seeking the good pleasure of Allah, we shall give him great rewards. So we're focusing our energies and our, uh, and our uh, efforts and our resources for the good of all mankind. And this is where God said, there is no good in most of what their talks are and waste of time, a lie, a rumor, and all these things. God Almighty says, except if you spend your time in doing this. Religion is very simple. Religion is so simple. God Almighty tells us that the deen, the religion, should be focused on doing good for yourself and for others. That's, that's what the essence of religion is all about. That's what religion is all about. And that's why God Almighty said, I have not ordered them to do anything. As he says in chapter 99, verse 5, and they were commanded not but that they should worship Allah with sincerity in all their matters of faith and to perform prayer and give charity, that is the right religion. So if Allah Almighty has simplified for us uh, the whole religion in sincerity, doing good, worshiping God by doing good, and also, of course, uh, uh, to be just sincere in your words, in your actions, that's, that's where we spend our time. The rest is all additions, so don't waste your time, as he says in other places. And then, of course, um, this uh, leads me to lay down for you or share with you some verses God Almighty spoke about. What is piety? What is uh, good work that will keep you busy in your time producing good actions? He says in chapter 2, verse 177. It is not piety that you turn your faces towards east and west or West in prayers, but piety is to have faith in Allah, life after death, the angels, the book, the prophets, and to give of one's wealth in spite of love for it to the kinsfolk, to the orphans, and to the poor, and to the wayfarer, and to those who ask for help, and to set slaves free, and to perform prayers on time, and to give charity, and to fulfill the covenants that you make, and to be patient in extreme poverty and ailment, and at the time of struggling. Such are the people of the truth, and they are the pious ones. So he is summarizing for us piety again. What is really piety? Piety is very simple. This is where you keep yourself busy doing. So don't waste your time in useless. From this, we can pull out the priorities in my life and what I should focus more in my life. If each one of us focuses on these little things, they seem to be very simple, but the world will change. The world will become a better world just if we focus on these things. I'm saying to my non-Muslim friends, this is what Islam is all about. This is what Islam is telling to humanity to focus on. Because these are the things that matter for all the humans. Collectively, this, these are the priorities of all humanity. And that's why uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave a beautiful advice to us. He said, take advantage of five things before 
five other things. Number one, your youth before you become old, your health before you become sick, your wealth before you become poor, your free time before your preoccupation, and your life before your death. So he's telling us what you do with your time, what you do with your life, what you do with your wealth, what you do with all these things before you lose them. When you lose time, there is no way you can make it. Sometimes we have a lot of time to do things to help someone, but we waste it. Or sometimes people say, it's boring. I have too much time and there is nothing I can do. But in reality, many people in this world, they either have time but no wealth, or they either have wealth but no time. The lucky ones are those who have time and money. And if they have that, they should, of course, use their time and their wealth in what is useful, of course, for themselves and their loved ones, but also for the world. If people who are collecting money and busy, busy making money, if they only stop one time and say, well, you know what, I'm not taking this wealth with me anywhere. I'm not taking it to the grave. Let me make some difference in people's lives. They will enjoy their life more and they will become fulfilled and happy and they will taste happiness indeed in their hearts. This is very, very important and I'm sure and confident not only the Quran and other revealed books have focused our common sense. Our parents are telling us not to waste time. Time is of an essence. Time is important. Do not waste it in useless talk, useless actions, especially uh, when we have vacation, when we have things and we relax. Actually, we're not wasting time by relaxing. This is the right of our body and mind, and we can make it useful in a way. But wasting time when it's not relaxing, when it's not, you know, necessary for you, is such as gossiping, wasting time in doing things that are useless for yourself, for your family, for all humanity. After these messages, we will wrap up today's value of time. Welcome back discussing today the value of time and how we can make use of time without wasting it and waste of time is a sin by itself not only in the eyes of the revelation of the quran the the revealed books but also by common sense we realize it's really quite a shame to waste time which has a great value that cannot be actually measured or weighed it's a value that is great in the eyes of god and the eyes of those who understand time is so important that we can use it if we just sit down and reflect how many things we can do i know people are busy any any person you talk to these days at any time of the day they would tell you we're really busy i can't keep up with this i cannot do this i'm so overbooked the words you hear i'm so busy i'm so overbooked i'm so this and that everybody has no time even to pick up the phone and call their parents or their loved ones once a week or once in a month do some kind of uh, uh, relaxation and think and have a good time it's so bad it's getting worse and worse because we're busy with our gadgets and our computers and our chat rooms and our things that are sometimes are useless and they will not give us anything but stress and people are compromising their very natural needs such as eating and sleeping people are sleeping less studies are showing today that people are sleeping less are becoming more stressed and why are we all of us into this mess because we have not prioritized uh, things in our life we have over uh, booked ourselves and overwhelmed ourselves with many things there's nothing better than family there's nothing better than our loved ones to be with uh, before our friends and then our friends come and uh, making too many friends it might be good but too many of them uh, leads us to over commitment and then of course less uh, delivery of our promises. This, these are things to reflect as we try to understand the value of time and also the value of good work. And not all the work which is good can be done by us. We can take what is good, but even if it's little, as the Prophet peace be upon him said, the best good works or deeds to God are, or the most loved deeds to God are the ones which are continuous, even if they are little. That's why we reflect today together as we like to discuss in our Faith of Life series uh, and shows uh, the importance of time in faith, the importance of time in life. And life itself is time and we better use it in what is useful for all of us, inshallah, God willing. Dear viewers, if you have any comments or suggestions or a topic which is close to your heart and you would like me to shed some light from an Islamic point of view, 
and also from a faith and life perspective, please do not hesitate to email us at info at faithoflife.net. Until next time, I wish you all the best and I pray for myself and yourself that we have the best usage of our time and that God blesses us with more time to, so we can spend with our loved ones, our families and our friends and also to do more good work in this existence and in this reality. Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you.